Whenever I need to figure something out, I'll draw it just for myself, you know, because that's how I can see it better. Even if it's just a color, I'll, I'll just work on it till I get that color from a combination of colored pencils. One of my pet peeves is wasting paint. So if I'm in a place here where I don't need that color anymore, then I always try to find something else that does need it. When you think about it, an oil painting is a bunch of paint sitting on there that's not dry, you know? It's like almost like water, and if you bump it or smear it or something, it's gonna change it. <laughs> you know? And I love to work in acrylics also, um, and I use them like watercolor, and that's very fast and very fun. I've done lots of bear things bear homonyms. This one is a barometer. There's a lot of them, like bare bones, um, barely there, barista, yeah, that's, I've got all, all sorts of those guys. She's just excited about the bears. Like there was this one with a, uh, a mama bear and two cubs and she was just telling me the story about the cubs and they're getting ready for lunch and you know, dad's out having a shore lunch with you know, fish and wine. And you know, so she's connecting all of her paintings together in this big storyline. They're not human-like, but they have so much personality to me. I just like them. I do have people that when I started doing the acrylics, they're like, oh, no, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they, then they manufacture, oh, she's doing that because she hit her head, you know. But it's not, it's, it's just an evolving lifestyle. Well, uh, my husband, had a rather kind of a rare form of cancer and he died in a matter of five weeks and I was um, coping but not coping. I just fell out of the loft in my son's room. When I woke up in the hospital I Adrian was sitting there and I said, hi, so, you ready to go? And then he said, mom, you've had an accident, you're not going anywhere. And I said, what do you mean? And I was like, this guy's pulling my leg, you know? <laughs> and it made me really mad. And then I'm looking around, I'm like, he says, look, look what you're wearing. And I had all these tubes and everything. And I was like, I was horrible. It really was. I told him I was going to chop his arms off. And he said, well, what would I look like if you did that, Mom? So I said, well, I'll give me a piece of paper and I'll show you. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I drew him like. He's in his little burned off arms and burned hair and he's like a big diaper. So this is what it felt like for so long. It's like my brain was out there. I couldn't put it in my body in my head. So when you look at this, do you just go look how far I've come or what goes? No, I look at this and I say, I am so glad I'm not there. Because <laughs> that was, it was not fun. I had to paint with my finger at first and I could only paint for about 10 minutes and my vision was so disrupted, um, the double vision and the, the tiredness and I couldn't concentrate on anything. And 
I couldn't control the paintbrush, so I would use my finger and I'd get just, I didn't think I'd ever be able to paint again. <laughs> Fortunately, I met somebody who had, he was driving the school bus up the Gunflint Trail and we were set up on a blind date. Being outside is huge for me. Living in this gorgeous place, being surrounded by the water, the, the different moods that we have up here and the seasons are so different. If it's not dogs, it's pine martens or grouse or foxes or wolves or bears. And that's, that's a big part of it for me. I, I love seeing animals. I mean, who wouldn't want to look at this <laughs> when you're working, you know? This is one commission I'm working on and it's for a couple. I love having commissions. Um, a lot of times, it's it's not it's not uh, steady. I loved um, illustrating a book. I got to do that with uh, Duluth um, author Cheryl Dannenbring. That was a lot of fun. I'm all I'm up for anything new. Everybody loves Anna's work. I mean, the second they walk down the hallway and see her work, it's something catches them. Um, I don't know, just her fun energy that comes out of the work. And it's so easy to sell because she's such an amazingly kind, generous, loving person. Moving to town was extremely important. Just by sheer numbers of people that stop, go through, the shop any given day. She just has so many outlets, I think, that you can just feel that she just is constantly moving her energy around, and it's good for her, and it's good for us. And I'm very fortunate because I now have, it's like fans or something. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's really fun. I like it. 